All right, everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the groiner. This is one I get a lot of questions about, um, and I'm super particular about how you do it, because I think it helps more if you're really particular about your technique. Um, so first thing you need to be able to do to do this exercise is you need to have a good plank position. So we're gonna start hands and knees. You're gonna first tuck your hips to take out any excess curvature you might have in your back and to give your abs some leverage to turn on. So we tuck the hips and then we straighten the legs out. Okay, if you really reach through your heels, you might even feel your glutes turn on and you should feel these outer lower abdominals holding you up. That is a solid plank position. That's what we're looking for first and foremost. Now from there, the hard part is you gotta bring your knee up and get that, notice I exhaled there, we'll get to that. Note, um, get that foot flat, this heel down, and I'm keeping my knee in between my elbows. Notice you can't see my knee because my arm is blocking it. That is premeditated, we wanna do that. So then we come back to the plank and then we go into the harder side. And you might even feel your abs start to really cramp here and that's good. So I'm holding it for a long time because I'm talking but I would normally just like get it and then go. So that's, that's kind of like level one. What I normally do, because I think it works really well, is I pair that with a twist. So we're doing the same thing. We got a little hip tuck, legs go straight, bring the leg up, and then I reach with that side hand, just like this. Notice I'm not swaying or anything. I notice I've kept contact of my heel in the ground, and then I just switch. Back and forth like that. Um, things that will help you do this. Now, this is the hardest variation to do it from the ground like this. Um, things that will help you do this are learn the plank first, and then second, exhale while you bring your leg up. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna inhale while I bring my leg up. <sighs> it's really hard to get that all the way up there because one of the things that we're kind of training is this scrunching of the midsection forward. We're trying to scrunch the front of your torso together. And one of the things that keeps it unscrunched is inhaling air, holding in your lungs. So you wanna exhale when you bring the knee up. It also helps you get more uh, rotation when you do your rotation. Bonus tips. Um, all right, so. That's really hard. Not that many people can do that really well. Um, what we can do instead, let me show you one other variation. So oftentimes people will bring the foot out like this because they think it's training their squat pattern and loosening up their adductors. Um, I have found that unnecessary. It's much easier but it doesn't do the things for the torso that I'm trying to do here. And if I'm gonna throw in, especially a rotation, it's really important for me to loosen up the torso, not just to like drive my knee out there. I don't wanna squat from this position anyway, because I don't have forces going straight down through my knee. They're going like through the middle of my knee and the most of my knee is outside. So I don't get good force transfer when I squat that way. So I don't wanna train it in my warm up exercises. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, that we might need a one on one call. Uh, now to make this easier, uh, the easiest way to make it easier is to just elevate your hands. So let me grab a little bolster here. Check it out. It's pretty nice. <laughs> um, and if I do my groiner from here, so much easier. Now this is not appropriately challenging for me because I can get it when I'm flat on the ground. I can get my heel down like that. But if you just, for the life of you, can't find a way to sit that heel down, I, you know, one trick is to even shift back a little bit away from your hands and onto the heel. That helps you put the heel down. But if even that's not helping, then you gotta elevate your hands. Okay, and something like a couch or a chair, anything works really well. And then I can just do the same types of exercises. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Actively round your back on this one. Um, I showed you the plank. You got to be able to do the good plank position. And that's what I mean by that. I need you to get the hip tuck, the 
back rounded so that the abs can turn on. And then you gotta maintain that for the whole performance of the exercise.